biking and cycling access. You can see that in uh, the streets that are being restriped for bike lanes. You can see that in the number of people out riding today. And you can see it in the support that we've gotten from the community in terms of sponsorship. You guys are a big part of that. And I really want to tell you how much we appreciate it because we wouldn't have a show down here if it weren't for you. It just all it takes is one look at the walls to know how much creative talent there is in Des Moines. I saw pictures from the Minneapolis show and thought, oh, how cool that there are cities that support biking and art to that extent. That's really neat. And then I heard that we were going to get to do one here. And so, of course, I immediately, yes, I wanted to be involved. Uh, I am from a really small town and um, up by um, about 200 people, very small. So I've been wanting to do a piece of art for a while that kind of reflects my transition from a small town to you know, a bigger city like Des Moines. And um, which I think is a concept that a lot of people can relate to. The majority of everything I do in painting is portraits. So I thought it was important to uh, continue my normal work and using a portrait uh, to represent biking. And I wanted to focus in Des Moines. Uh, Des Moines is really where I got excited about uh, cycling. And it was uh, it was really gratifying for me to see the uh, the quality of submissions, and I knew I was going to get a great group of artists. Um, and I think the proof of that is on the wall right now. We have a fantastic range of work. The talent of the community really shows, and it's just exciting and an honor to be able to represent the uh, the abilities of the people here. Uh, I want to thank everybody in Des Moines for supporting the show, uh, and hope that uh, everybody who comes out sees something they like and takes some more work home.